8.30 last night, 23-year-old man was shot in the head and left for dead um, on the floor in a puddle of blood, literally. They got him to the hospital. He was pronounced at the hospital. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Frank. This is Morals Over Money. So I wanted to bring y'all a quick story. Um, unfortunately, it's a sad story. It happened at Needle Park last night. In the back end of the park, uh, not really up in the front where y'all see me um, do haircuts or record. So there's a back section. In the back, is dark. Anybody that's been to that park knows um, you're liable to see anything in that park at any given time. Assaults. Assaults on women, y'all know what I mean. Um, can't really say it, but y'all know what I mean. Um, lots of violence, you know, and, and the summer's just heating up. So last night, about 8.30 p.m., Thursday, um, a 23-year-old man was shot in the head. You know the news this morning, a shooting at a park leaves a man dead in Philadelphia's Kensington neighborhood. It happened just after 8 o'clock last night on the 600 block of East Indiana Avenue. Police say the 23-year-old victim had been shot in the head. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police also recovered a gun from the scene. There's no word on a motive and no arrests in the case. They shot him in the head. It was, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a dispute. Um, you know, over over drugs, um, unfortunately, and the man was left there to die in a puddle of blood, literally in a puddle of blood. Um, last night, I got home and um, got a FaceTime from you know one of one of uh, the people that I keep in contact in Kensington, and um, they told me you know what had happened. Um, they haven't released the person's name. Um, they gave me the person's name. They, they gave me their, you know, their street name. Um, I'm not putting any of that type of information out there, though. Um, you know, his family might not even know yet. People go down there. They go missing. Their family doesn't hear from them for months, for years. That's extremely common. So um, I'm not going to say it was such and such. And then, you know their family don't find out and they find out through my video or something like that or maybe I'm wrong you know what I mean that'd be even worse um, so 8 30 last night 23 year old man was shot in the head and left for dead um, on the floor in a puddle of blood literally they got him to the hospital he was pronounced at the hospital um, the cops did recover a weapon so, you know, hopefully they have fingerprints and all that stuff off the weapon. Um, sad, water's heating up. I mean, weather is heating up. So, you know, once the weather starts to get warm, this, it's already a daily occurrence. This is going to become a lot more frequently, unfortunately. So, you know, rest in peace to that young brother. No matter what we're doing in life, no matter what stage of our life we find ourselves in, we do not deserve to have our life shortened and taken from us. Doesn't matter if we're getting high, it doesn't matter if we're in the streets, nobody has the right to take our life from us, right? We know that those are some of the repercussions and consequences that come with our actions, but at the end of the day, nobody has the right to take somebody's life. So um, it's unfortunate, but you know, you, um, you play in the street, that's the type of stuff that happens, unfortunately. So, Thanks, y'all. Have a good night. Remember to be kind, loving, and patient. Hit that like button. See y'all later.